shaking. I can't tell. Yeah, it looks head shaking anyways. Uh, Pigweed has been on fire this year. You know, we fish a lot of local derbies here year round, and so, since like December, the lake has just been fishing phenomenal. It's been taking like 25 plus every weekend to, to, to win. So, I mean, it's going to take some big weights, I feel like, even with this weather. Uh, the fish are just doing great right now, and it should be a blast. Well, maybe. Huh? Maybe. I don't know. I can't tell. Nope. You got it? Oh, there's five. Five is going to have to go. Maybe oh, four. four. Get back up there. I got him. Well, I got a cold first for you to cast. <clears throat> no, one of us didn't be cold and one of us can be casting. Uh, I mean, it's just a ledge. They get here every year. I'm throwing a big swim bait. Mm. It's hard to get these stools fired up because there's so much traffic on them. They get run over every day. Tuesday night or Thursday night or Friday night or Monday night or they get messed with. So we fired them up with a drop shot and then I threw that big swim bait in there and got a big bite. So that's the game plan all day. Hopefully we can keep them fired up. If we can get five out of this stool like that last one, it'll free us up, let us run around like We've been all morning. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> oh. come off in the net. Oh, I come off in the net. That's a big old brown fish, dude. Ha -ha. That's gonna help right there. That's going cool. Hope we call that one out. Get the net. No. Broken off. No, my, my reel. You got him still? Yeah. I think. I don't know. Yeah, still got him. Real just totally ate. <sighs> Throw something outside him for a minute. <laughs> they ain't seen my swimmer but one cat. Obviously, they don't care. I thought it may have been that swim bait, but. I'm about to hunt big girl up though. He's coming. I'm about to go Jason Lambert on him. Hmm. Good one. 
another brown fish. Big by bait, suicide shad. Next up, from UNA, Nathan and Austin, North Alabama locals with a five fish limit. Okay, here we go. Y'all are up in the hunt now, 1655. All right, Rudy, take them over and get some water. I want to hear from them. They're near, it's almost top 10. You're in 11th place right now. So you're in real good striking distance. Tell me something. Uh, missed opportunities hurt. So you did lose some. Yeah, I lost a six about 20 minutes ago. So they biting late in the day. That's good for tomorrow. Yeah, uh, we had a late boat draw today though, so we got to be in earlier tomorrow. But it's just tough to get on anything. There's so many people out there. But uh, what boat number were you today? 127. So y'all will get out in the first flight in the morning. Be ready to go. Second flight. Be ready to go get them. Yep. Second flight. Maybe we can get out there and get on uh, five big ones. There you go. How long a run are you going to make? Uh, it's probably like 30 minutes, maybe oh, 35. No, it's not too bad. Hopefully the wind don't get up and make it that much more difficult it on us. It going to be blowing in the morning. Uh, you fishing on the left-hand side or the right-hand side of the river? Both. First stop? Uh, First stop, probably 40 minutes down the river. Just All right. For, for wherever you can find a spot. I understand. Well, y'all are definitely in striking distance. Go get them in the morning. <laughs> 